high caliber weapon. There's, a, there's simply no rational basis for it. Remember, the Constitution, the Second Amendment, was never absolute. You couldn't buy a cannon when the Second Amendment was back. The president is now hoping for more action in Washington. So let's let's talk about that. What can be done in Washington to try to prevent more school shootings? ABC's Alex Prache is here with the latest on that. Alex, President Biden now says that he thinks there's been a realization, in his words, on the part of some Republicans like Mitch McConnell, Cornyn, that things can't continue like this. So what does that mean and what changes could that lead to? Well, I, I think, you know, I a, a, a moment last week was when uh, Senator Cornyn came back to Washington and had that morning meeting with Leader McConnell. And McConnell essentially gave his blessing uh, for, for Cornyn to then, you know, go and see if there was some bipartisan ground that they could meet with Democrats on, specifically on, on, on gun violence. And, and it, you know, look, right now, they're just talks, but these talks are happening, and that's something that wasn't going on uh, in, in in previous months. But we've we've got a group of nine senators right now, uh, five Democrats, four Republicans, who are throwing out ideas. And and Senator Chris Murphy, uh, who's been a, a staunch supporter of, of of gun reform, has been uh, talking about some of the ideas that were thrown out. We're talking about red flag laws, uh, possibly expanded background checks on commercial sales among. Uh, some of the, the things that this group is considering. But again, I would stress that they are talking. There are no mandates. They're just recommendations, and they're going to be meeting throughout the break uh, again and again uh, to kind of drill down there and see if there is some ground that they can reach. Now, could we see any more executive actions related to this? Well, so what's interesting, Diane, is that the White House is, is kind of punted on, on the idea of inserting itself into this discussion or, or, or these negotiations. You know, you heard uh, the president there uh, reference cannons. Uh, look, their position on this has been clear, but, but, also, but also notably, uh, the White House press secretary last week said that the president right now doesn't have any scheduled meetings to preview or, or, or any you know, details on, 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 on inserting himself into these conversations. And the president was actually asked uh, this morning after he was stepping off Marine One, uh, you know, has he spoken to Republicans? He says that he actually hasn't. Um, and his guess is that they're going to take a hard look at this, but but he doesn't know, you know, are there concrete ideas or what are what are the ideas that uh, that that are, that are most most valuable and most pressing uh, to put forward? We also, Alex, learned over the weekend that the Justice Department is reviewing the police response in Uvalde. There's been a lot of criticism about how long it took for law enforcement to finally confront and take out this shooter. So what's the purpose of this DOJ review? Could someone, could law enforcement that was there that day, could they face consequences over this? Diane, I think it's possible, but I think it's also important to look at the, the context of this particular review. This is a review. It's not a criminal investigation. And so, I mean, you think of it in, in the terms of, of, of best practices, what worked, what clearly didn't work. And we're learning, especially as the days go on, that there were a lot of things that did not work. Uh, this is similar to what they did after the shooting in San Bernardino, also the Pulse nightclub shooting uh, in, in Orlando. Uh, but, you know, this was uh, done at the, the, the request of Uvalde's mayor, uh, and they will be releasing these, uh, these uh, findings to the public. And I, I think there is going to be um, a, 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 a emphasis on, on, on pointing out what worked, what didn't work, so that nothing like this ever happens again. That is, that is, that is the purpose of this. Uh, and what are you expecting to hear today in the president's Memorial Day address? Well, Diane, one of the things that the president often signs off uh, with is, may God protect our troops. Uh, and so today is going to be a somber day, obviously, um, as he lays this reef. But I, I think it's, it's, it's compounded uh, by the fact this is also the anniversary of the death of his son, Bo, who was a veteran, died back in 2015. Uh, and so, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see if the president talks about the gun issue. It, it's certainly top of mind. I wouldn't put it past him. But, but I would also expect him to reflect uh, on, on his son, who was also a veteran. Uh, they spent time uh, in Delaware uh, at a church service before coming down. Uh, so I, I, I would expect him to say some, some, some words about that. All right, Alex Prochet in Washington, thank you.
Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.